Good morning, everybody. Welcome. We have this thing. We've had this fridge plugged in all night. Let's give her a check. Be cool. Oh, yeah. The new soft fridge. Yeah, we'll check. So we'll worry about that. I need to get going. We're doing two trips down to Thief River Falls today. Uh, and we got back really late last night. So I'm starting a little later than usual today because I have to make sure my logbook all... Uh, you know, agrees with me that it's okay to go because I'm going to the U.S. So I have to have 10 hours consecutive off before I start today so that I'm legal to drive in the U.S. Go down to Thief River, drop those trailers off that we loaded up yesterday, those stacked trailers. I have three step decks behind me. Uh, drop those off, take our chains off and stuff. Grab onto a loaded trailer, bring that back to our yard. Grab onto an empty step deck, probably just one this time. Run back down to Thief and do it all over again, and then come home. It's gonna be fun, let's get going. No time to hang around the shop today. Though well, I love this place a lot, but there's work to be done. This is what the roads look like this morning. It is pretty warm, so it's melting on the highway, and it's not slippery, but it is a little bit slushy. You wanna watch out for that, because it'll suck you right in. Headed south down Highway 59 right now towards US 59. You guessed it, US 59 starts at the US border. Since I'm hauling three of our empty trailers down, that's not considered a load. So I can cross from Tolstoy into Lancaster, Minnesota. Then I'll be coming back up through Emerson. This is uh, what Manitoba looks like today. Southeast Manitoba anyways. I'm guessing about an hour down the road into the US, pretty much all the snow will be gone. That's where the snow line started yesterday on my way up. It was about 10 miles from the Canadian border. Uh, that's where uh, it started snowing. So this is the weather in Thief River Falls, about two hours south of Winnipeg. About an hour and a half south of where we were, where I showed you last, on the Canadian side. So they still have snow in a few areas here, but for the most part, weather is much better. I'm going to try to get my equipment off these trailers as fast as possible once I figure out where they want them. And uh, head on back because we've got to come down for another one. So it's going to be a late day again today. Well, that's okay. We had a bit of a later start than what we would usually start at because of uh, yesterday and, you know, log books and stuff. It's always the log books that slow us down. And that pesky habit we all have of, you know, sleeping every day it takes up so much time. I know for me, I need a good eight hours every day. Such a waste of time, but I need it. Well, we have a bit of a surprise today. We're switching trucks again. And not just into any truck. I have a special task. You remember years ago when I was in the Western Star? And you remember just a little while ago, I said, man, that Western Star is, you know, a 3088. It's pretty much identical to the truck I was driving. This is 3080. 
This is the exact truck I was in for about three years. I put almost 400,000 kilometers on this truck when it was brand new. I was the first driver in it. I think it had something like 15 or 20 kilometers when I got into it. And I'm just checking out the engine right now because someone went and blew up the engine after I was... <laughs> I don't know what happened, but the engine uh, uh, seized up or blew up or something happened. And take a look at what's in here now. This is a brand spanking new engine. And it is my task to break it in. My old friend, last time I was in it, it was a brand new truck. And now it's a brand new truck again. It's been born again, so to speak. New motor, everything else on it is like, whew, this thing's aged a little bit since I was in it. So Peterbilt will be parked for a little while while I test this thing out. Look at that fresh paint on there, eh? Hasn't even gotten dirty yet under here. Brand new. So they want me to drive this in uh, for about five to 10,000 kilometers or so. And they're gonna take it in, check on it, check the fluid levels probably do a service on it and then we'll see where we go from there but it is my job to break her in oh we're gonna break her in all right oh just like old times right this is the truck that Britt and I went to Yukon in we spent New Year's in Yukon in Whitehorse remember that we went way up north there right up to the border with Alaska uh, me, Britt, and like three of our dogs. We didn't have Chevy at the time yet, but we had a different dog, Mitzi. We had Wiener, Mitzi, and Diesel. Three dogs and us in this exact truck. Oh, the memories. I'm going to get my stuff moved over, and then i got to go hook up to a step deck, and i got to get it ready for tomorrow. We're headed back down to Thief River Falls with this thing in the morning. Let's see if it even looks the same. Yeah, we fit three dogs and two adults in here for a long time, all the way up north. Good times. I don't know how long they want me to be in this truck for. Why is the floor mat over there? Put the floor mat back where it belongs over here. There we go. Uh, not sure how long I'll be in this truck for, but eh, maybe for a week or so. We'll see. They said five to 10,000 kilometers, but that was just a random number that they just threw out there just as a, like, give her a good run, break her in. So we'll see what happens. Should be fun. Oh, wow. Look at this. Somebody's been collecting these uh, scale cards. Look at that. From Cat Scales? That wasn't me. Look at that all the way around there. Whoever's collection that is, I'll leave that there for you. And you can come get it whenever you want it. Just come find me. Unless you want to leave it there. Hey, I'll take it if you if you don't want it. If you don't want it, I'll take it. But I'll leave it there for now. Until I hear from whoever's collection that is. No one's in this truck. No one's been in this truck for a very long time. Because it's had the engine pulled right out of it. And a brand spanking new engine put right in there. They didn't rebuild it. They put a brand, brand new engine in there. I'm kind of excited. Oh, there's another one down here. Is this your truck? Let me know. Oh, that's nice. See, I just want taller stacks than that. I'd like a truck, something like that. Different color, obviously. A little flat top sleeper with taller stacks. I'd want my stacks to be at least 13 feet. No, 13 foot 16. Is that you? From Toronto, South Dakota. South Dakota, you have a Toronto too? I didn't know that South Dakota had a Toronto. Does your Toronto think it's the center of the world too? It's ours sure does. Swing around here to the driver's side and see if we can get her running. Man, who sits with this much air in the seat? Slam it down to the floor. That's where I like to sit, all the way down. There you go. 
all the air out. Okay. Let's start her up. Let her do her little thing. Okay. And... Oh, oh, oh. There it is. No lights, except for washer fluid. Good thing I picked up some washer fluid for it. Okay. Brand spanking new. That was a little bit of a confusing vlog the way I put that together, wasn't it? <laughs> so we started off in the Peterbilt, and uh, at the end of the day, I only did one load, I didn't do two. I did one load, and at the end of the day, uh, they told me that, hey, we'd like talk to you for a bit. They pulled me in there and said, hey, we'd like you to uh, take 3080 out and break in the new motor and do a couple of Thief River runs tomorrow. Uh -huh. Okay, a little reun reunion, reunition. A <laughs> little reunion uh, between 3080 and me, so that was kind of cool. Uh, got it all ready for tomorrow, and uh, we're headed to Thief River Falls for two loads with it tomorrow and see how it does. And uh, the Western Stars are really good trucks. I really like them. However, you have to be ready for a little bit of a rougher ride when you're bobtailing or empty. When you're loaded, it's a pretty decent ride. Uh, nothing to really complain about, but when you don't have much weight on the drive tires. It's a very rough ride. It's meant for tough work. That's what Western Star specializes in, right? They mainly make their trucks for tough work. And even though this is a highway truck, they're still built a little bit tougher than uh, a little bit more rigid than other trucks. Like I, like I always say, you know, every truck has their strength and uh, every truck has their weakness. You know, this truck is really good at other things, but it's got a little bit of a rougher ride. Other than that, yeah, so we're going to be in that for the next day or two. Just see how the engine does, see if any engine lights pop on or anything, see if anything needs to be looked at before we put a highway driver into it. And then that, that'll be an open truck for van division uh, for anyone who wants to uh, come drive with us. You can always, I'm going to promote us again. You can email me at truckerjosh at keystonewestern.com if you are interested in working with us. You, can, you might even be driving the same truck I drove for what, two or three years, 3080. We need a driver for it. Uh, it's on van division. Uh, requirements are you need about two years experience. Uh, uh, in Canada here, you have to be a Canadian citizen or permanent resident or you know living here already in Canada with the experience here in Canada already. And uh, yeah, if you are driving maybe somewhere else, maybe you're not too happy with where you're at, you know the whole spiel I always give. There's always better options out there. The grass is greener over here. I've been here 10 years. If it was, if it was bad, would I really be here 10 years? I'm not gonna stay somewhere that I'm not happy. So that should be a testament enough to, to convince you that the grass is greener here. I've been here 10 years, never had an issue. Love the dispatchers, the owner's great. The president of the company's great. All the owner, like all, like right from the top to the bottom. I get along with everybody so well there, and it's like a big giant family. So if you want to come join the family, that's, that's what I should say. I should, instead of say join the team, join the family. They are my family. They're my work family. I know pretty much everybody there. I may not know everybody's first name because I'm not in the office very often, but I know everybody. And I, I make an effort to learn everybody's first name. I want to be on a first name basis with everybody there. There's just a lot of employees. <laughs> but I know everybody. And uh, they know me. And it's a great place to live, a great place to work where you're not just a number. But there's my spiel. You can email me at Trucker Josh Keystone Western if you want to change, if you're already working, especially if you're an owner operator. Of course, we're always looking for owner operators to join the team. And uh, if we can snag you and pull you over to our side, if there's anything we can do, reach out to me and uh, I'll send you in the right direction so that your resume and uh, your application lands right on the right desk, right at the top of the pile. And I'll make sure that that thing stays at the top of the pile that they get to you. Okay, I'll be your I'll be your in there. Some people are wondering what this flag is behind me. That is the flag of Manitoba. That's my home province. That's where I live in Canada. Uh, for you uh, American friends of mine, our province is like a state. That would be like our state flag. That's Manitoba. It's got the British Union Jack at the top. It's got the cross of St. George, the English flag, 
on top of the crest, and then our provincial symbol, the buffalo. It's the same provincial symbol as North Dakota, just south of us, that their state symbol is also a buffalo, I believe, or one of their state symbols. Uh, so yeah. That's what our, uh, my Canada flag's over there. That's pretty much almost what our national flag used to look like. It wasn't always the maple leaf like that. That was, that's our newer flag, we updated it. Our original flag of Canada looked exactly like this, red background, Union Jack at the top, a crest on the side here, except the crest was a little different. It had the crest of Canada on there. But from a distance, you would think this was the flag of Canada. During World War I and II, on our, uh, on our soldiers and on our military equipment and on our planes, that would be, the we called it the Red Ensign. That would be the flag that was flying on our military equipment. And in history books, and when you look through historic videos and pictures, you'll see a flag almost identical to that. And that's the Canadian flag back then. Nowadays, we, uh, we're known for that. That's our symbol. We don't pledge allegiance to our flag in Canada. That's one of the differences we have to the US. We don't pledge allegiance to it, but we, uh, we're very fond of it. That's our symbol. That represents the people, us. Doesn't represent the government, doesn't represent any politicians, represents us. And this, of course, is, uh, you all know what this is, the greatest hockey team on the face of the planet. Obviously, you know what this is. The almighty Winnipeg Jets. Okay? Shame on you for not knowing that. I don't blame you. It's okay. <laughs> we're, we're, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. I don't know how we're doing this season because, you know, I'm kind of just a poser and I hang the flag up there, but I don't really follow the season that closely. <laughs> but you didn't know that. Obviously, I'm a Jets fan because I'm from Manitoba and that's our NHL team. We're very proud of it. Don't take them away again. Okay? Last time you took our Jets away, we cried. Don't make us cry again. Phoenix, looking at you, you stole our Jets. Phoenix Coyotes used to be the Winnipeg Jets. Went to Phoenix. But then, <laughs> we stole the Atlanta Thrashers. We took Atlanta's team. We took, Canada's taken two of Atlanta's hockey teams already. The Atlanta Flames back in the day are now the Calgary Flames out in Alberta. And then they got another team. We're like, hey, let's give this a second go. Let's put a hockey team in Atlanta, in football country. Let's put a, let's put a winter sport right in Georgia. It'll do well there. No, no. People don't care about hockey there. They care about football. NASCAR. Hockey belongs up here. So we bought the Atlanta Thrashers and we brought them home to Canada up here in Winnipeg. And now they're the Winnipeg Jets, the greatest hockey team on the face of the planet. If you didn't know that, now you know it. This actually is uh, uh, kind of unique to Manitoba. Without the the plane in because the Winnipeg Jets, Winnipeg is known as an Air Force town. We have an Air Force base in our city, in, right downtown. The Winnipeg, uh, what's it called again? It's an Air Force base, anyways. Uh, so uh, we are known as an Air Force town, hence Winnipeg Jets. And if you take that jet out of the picture and, it, and you just uh, leave the circle, the blue circle with the maple leaf in the center, that is the emblem of the Royal Canadian Air Force. Or is it just the Canadian Air Force now? I think it's still royal, right? We're very royally. We have a queen still. Hence the Union Jack out there. We still have a queen. So uh, the Canadian Air Force. And that's where that comes from. And we bought them from Atlanta in 2011. The more you know, you always learn something new on Trucker Josh Vlogs. So thanks for joining me today, guys. I gotta wrap this up. I've been yapping here for eight and a half minutes already. You're tired, you're bored. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you have watched all the way to the end, just comment down below the word pineapple. Then everyone will know that you watched till the end, but don't explain it to anybody else who doesn't understand why everyone's saying pineapple in the comment section. Don't explain it. They have to watch it right to the end, okay? You can just chuckle at them in a nice way if they ask what's, why is everyone saying pineapple. Okay. Don't tell them it. It'll be our secret because you, you made it all the way to the end, okay? So I'll see you down below in the comments section. I'll see how many of you actually made it to the end. All right? <laughs> see you tomorrow.